Hi, Kevin Blanche, back to the nuclear disaster, and I don't want any fucking morons going off on me. I'm not speaking to 10-second soundbite, Fox News, CNN fucking news, fucking morons who drink the fucking Kool-Aid up. I'm not speaking to you. If you want that kind of fucking context in a, you know, YouTube video or fucking out media outlet, turn on CNN, turn on fucking Fox, watch your 10-second soundbite, and fucking pacify yourself and fucking listen to what you want to hear. That's who not I'm speaking to. When I'm talking about the baby boomers... If you're so moron, you think I'm tacking an Avenger, but I'm not speaking to you. I'm not a folks guy. I'm not a dummy down guy. I'm speaking to the people with minds out there. I know there are freaking millions of brilliant baby boomers out there. But I'm talking about in the aggregate. I'm talking about the masses. The masses who control the political agenda. Who control this freaking country. Who make the decisions in this country via po their political agenda. I'm not that. I'm speaking in an educated manner. I step back like Malay, my favorite artist. And I look at things from the broader perspective, in the economic sense, in the historical sense, in the geopolitical sense, in the nuclear fallout sense. This is serious, serious fucking shit. Let's get real about this thing. Let's talk serious about this. I am not a scientist. I'm an economist and historian. I'm educated. I'm a finance derivatives guy. But I am extremely educated in this subject matter. Why? Because of the death of my father. My father was nuclear Nevada test site, died years later, mowed down in the prime of his life by nuclear radiation. That is the evil thing. This is not acute. Nuclear fallout is not acute. It doesn't put three eyeballs on you. It doesn't kill you next week or next month. It kills you 20, 30 years. The studies are there. The Atomic Veterans Study by the United States government exists. It exists. Why the media doesn't freaking press it and get it? I have seen all kinds of different work done on this. My uncle was high brass at the Pentagon, hit my dad's younger brother. We worked together on this. Look, all 40,000 are dead. I've spoke out for the atomic veterans. And if you think this is something new to me, that I've just jumped in, you're wrong. People that watch my videos know I've been all over this for a long, long time. Long time. Look at my videos last summer putting up the more memorial for my father. Look. It kills you 30 years later. That is when it bubbles. It starts to kill people 10 years, 20, 30 years later. The downwinders of southern Utah, those studies prove that. The atomic veterans, 40,000 of them, they all died of freaking leukemia. All of them. Look, the containment vessels have been breached from day one. Anybody that doesn't believe that is a total fool. A total fool. And for some idea you think it's better for nuclear radiation to go into the sea than the air, you are a fool. A total fool. They're both just as catastrophic. Jacques Cousteau would roll over in his grave. Look, we know how intricate the food chain is with the oceans. The fish and the sea plants and the birds eating the fish. It's a chain. Anybody, I mean, Mother Earth, we are all in this together whether we are a plant, a fish, an animal, or a human being. We are all intricate, tied together. And this is how this works. And this has been flowing this radiation has been flowing into that ocean for over two weeks now. The, okay, now, they're saying now that nuke reactor 3 has got a breach in the containment vessel. These things have been breached the whole time. It's ignorant to think they're not. And let's say even if they weren't, reactor 3 and 4, spent fuel rods laying on the top with water being poured over the top on why they're melting as it flows down into the ocean. I don't care if it's the land or the ocean. It's just a bad... And these... Look... I am very worried about this. I have my first grandson bor born tomorrow. And look, people say, oh, it's not really anything here in the United States. Look, granted, we know it's not acute. Don't talk to us like we're fucking third grade morons. Thank you, Mr. Science. What's that jet stream thing? Oh, you mean, to, oh, thank you. You mean the wind blows? I didn't know, Mr. Freaking Fox or Mr. CNN. Wind blows? Oh, don't fucking talk. And if you're fucking watching my videos and you have that kind of mindset, fucking go to Glenn Beck's fucking site. You know, I don't want to talk to fucking people like that. I don't want to talk to people with brains. There's plenty of us out here. There's plenty of people that have a fucking social moral conscience. Not in the fucking acute fucking what they tell you. Look, these things are fucking breached. This is a major, major deal. And as I like to say, and you people who watch my videos and read my writings, I like to say I'm Balco. That's my metaphor. Metaphors are a very extremely important part of communication and language. On Balco, that's mine. It's my favorite. This is on Balco. Literally on Balco. There's six of these things. Just one or two. This is way past Chernobyl. Way past Chernobyl. There are six of them. This is crazy. Right on the edge of the Pacific Ocean. Right next to millions and millions and millions. One of the most densely populated places on Earth. 
This is a major, major deal. The spent fuel rods up in three and four. Can you believe they do that? Just let them sit there exposed. You know, oh God, we had no water. Let's pump seawater. Where do you think the seawater that's been running over exposed fuel rod goes? Into fairy tale land? Into the ocean. Into the atmosphere. Into the air. Now, granted, it is the slow accumulation of nuclear fallout. And like I said, I am extremely educated on this subject matter because of the death of my father. I turned myself into an expert on this. I have read everything ever written known to man on this subject matter. I mean, I always fall back to Einstein's writings. You know, this ain't going away. Read what he said. It's not going away. You know, and the people talk about the half-life of this. Yeah, granted, there's certain elements that have half-lives, but there's certain elements that the half-life is thousand years. And it's the slow build-up, and it's the whole philosophical freaking idealism about somehow nuclear energy is safe. It's not fucking safe. And people say, well, there's coal. I know this. Of course coal's not freaking safe. But it's controllable. This is not controllable. It stays forever. I mean, what are we going to do? Just melt down the freaking earth? What if we have another one somewhere, God forbid? Or another one somewhere? You know, you don't think, it's like I say in my lead videos, you go into there, into my say. What is the statistical probability of having two tsunamis in five, six freaking years of 30 foot waves going 100,000 people, two of them? You know, and these scientists will tell you it can't happen. Zero. Huh. Okay. Okay. The point is, this leukemia is the sly, slow, deadly killer via exposure to nuclear radiation. It doesn't kill you next week. It doesn't kill you next month. It doesn't kill you fucking... T it kills you 30 years later, 20 years later, 11 years later, 15 years later. And perfectly healthy, it'll mow you down in the prime of your fucking life. And then just one day, yeah, you got it, and it's over. Cupelastic leukemia, nuclear radiation causes cupelastic leukemia. And look, in the United States, this is a big deal. Granted, I know the freaking levels are small, but it's the accumulation and it's the whole philosophical battle. That's what I'm trying to address here. And you baby boomers don't get a freaking all mad. Oh, you attack everyone. I'm talking in the aggregate. Hello. Kevin Blanche, stay with me on this.